Hey everyone, uh, this is the T3T. Uh, I am here with Janet Helms, who's going to help me with the T3T. We, the top three things we got going on is all about Christian formation uh, this week. Uh, so the number one is that we do have that parish retreat that's coming up on the 22nd, 23rd. That's going to be with Chris Hall. As you know, on Wednesday nights right now, another tool you can have for your Lenten journey of Christian formation is we have the Lenten series with Vic Copan. That's on Wednesday nights. That starts at six o'clock. Uh, simple soup and supper. Uh, but a third thing I want to offer to you is what's going to be happening on March 19th. Now I got, we have such a gift here in the congregation, uh, which is Janet Helms, who's uh, really, she's been given a gift of God of inner healing. Mm -hmm. And on March March 19th at 6 o'clock to 7.30, I am asking you, suggesting you, calling you to come in because part of transformation and the healing of our hearts and if we allow God to come in and transform our hearts, that's what Christian for transformation, Christian formation is all about. It's about change, right? As Chris Hall Amen. says. Mm -hmm. um, so we have this great gift of inner healing where Janet is going to really help us lead to kind of explore a little bit of where are those holes, holes. holes where we need to hearts. ask Jesus to come into. Mm -hmm. And Kill so you'll be holes. leading this on, on Tuesday night. I, I will be leading it. And I just, I, I was changed through inner healing prayer and it's a great gift God has given us. So please come. So please come March 19th at six o'clock to 730 in the sanctuary. Bring friends. Um, there'll be a little bit of introduction to what healing prayer is. Yes. Um, some worksheets that will be put out. Uh, but then you'll be leading us as a group. Yes, I'll be leading a group inner healing prayer I did last year uh, for 65,000 people in Africa, so in Uganda. So it's really, it's really been vetted. <laughs> it's been vetted, but it was also vetted last year because we did it during Holy Week last year, yeah. and some incredible testimonies that came out of that. Yeah. So people who have uh, life-changing um, healings that happened. Forgiveness. That one was about forgiveness, but this is about losses in life that all of us have suffered. All of suffered. us have suffered losses in life. My you, gosh. You can't get through life without a lot of losses, but God can heal those holes. Yeah. Was so <laughs> so, please come. Bring your hearts. Uh, bring the openness to Christian formation <laughs> of Christian of, of God's healing in our life mm -hmm. and um, finding Jesus and inviting Jesus into those places in our heart where we feel the loss, whatever it may be, loss of a job, loss of love, loss of family, loss of whatever be a marriage, um, yeah. loss of career, loss you know? of career, loss of impact. You know, as we all get older, we feel that 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 edge that happens and so god has something else and uh those holes in our hearts must be healed first yes before we can find out what the next step is be bold be courageous be there march 19th <laughs> six o'clock in the sanctuary bring a friend god bless you we'll see you Bye bye.